British Forces News has been given exclusive access to the science facility which is used to test all military kit before it's sent to Afghanistan. The Environment Chamber at the Defence Science and Technology Laboratories in Porton Down can replicate some of the conditions troops face on the front line. Carl Ark reports. Laden with kit and carrying his rifle, but this isn't a new form of extreme exercise for the military. This is just one of the ways new equipment is tested before being sent to the front line. We're inside the environmental chamber at DSTL's laboratories, an unassuming facility but where everything from combat through Osprey to blast pants have been put through their paces. OK, so if you can rate how comfortable you feel the temperature is for you on the scale of one to seven, one being much too cool and seven being much too warm. The team are demonstrating how they run experiments here. It's imperative that the impact on the human body is minimised so it doesn't have a detrimental effect once in theatre, where heat illnesses can be commonplace in the summer. It's currently around 30 degrees Celsius in here. I'm not feeling too bad at the moment, but Harvey here is wearing 40 kilos of kit. He's being carefully monitored for his breathing and his body temperature. This is the first time that cameras have been allowed inside this facility, but the work being done here is key to assessing how environmental conditions impact those serving on the front line, where temperatures can reach twice this. The weight is similar to that which he could be carrying for several hours on foot patrol in Helmand. The pace is similar too and they need to know what the heat does to the body. We've got the computer system here um, whereby I was looking at his expired air um, that he was breathing in, so it's a breath by breath analysis. Uh, from that we can calculate his energy expenditure so we can see what he's exerting um, during certain tasks. We're also looking at his heart rate, um, this is a good uh, measure for cardiovascular strain. With the use of this small grey radio pill she can also monitor his core body temperature so they can produce a full picture of what's happening inside as well as out. Emily used to work with elite athletes as part of the British Olympic Association but is now using her skills to help those serving on the front line. They're the ones that have to deal with it, um, have to perform in, in the heat. Um, obviously we want to, to reduce their burden as much as possible. Um, so of, whether that's bringing down the weight, whether that's um, the thermal properties of the kit that they're wearing. DSTL always has scientists deployed in Afghanistan working with the commanders. When we deploy we work within the headquarters so we're very much part of the team. I think everyone has their ideas about what a scientist should look like and how scientists act. Um, but yeah, we're all individuals and um, the scientists out there have as much passion for what they're doing and understand why they're doing it as much as anyone else out there. Feedback from personnel who use the equipment and clothing is key too. How are you feeling after that? Warm. <laughs> Military advisers from all three services work closely with the scientists to help inform their decisions, which they then feed into the MOD and industry. One of the things that I'm particularly keen on um, pushing for the DSTL scientists is the importance of integration. We have a lot of excellent individual items of equipment. Not all of them fit together as well as perhaps they could do and we need to adopt a systems approach to ensure that they do all work together and that the soldier isn't constantly struggling to try and um, address just assembling a sort of Christmas tree of items about his person. The team here are constantly working on lightening the load for dismounted troops and are currently looking at improvements to the collar protection of the Osprey body armour as well as helping to shape new kit which has not yet been used in Afghanistan. Kyle Ark for Forces News at the Defence Science and Technology Laboratories.